Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Sarah and I make videos about health and fitness and all of those things endurance sports. So if that's something that you're into, maybe you'll go on down there and hit all of those fun filled buttons. But today's video is just a short announcement and it's about a really cool event coming up on Saturday, February 20th at nine o'clock Eastern Standard Time in the morning. Also happens to be this young man's third birthday, right? Happy birthday, young Teddy. But in order to celebrate his birthday, or maybe completely unrelated, I'm not exactly sure, Eric Schlange of Zwift Insider is holding a really cool event. And it's going to be a long one, and it's going to cover the Uber pretzel route. So for those of you who might be hunting down those root badges and have been avoided that second longest and most difficult root badge in the entire game, kind of like the plague, this is a really good opportunity for you to do that in a group of people, get the camaraderie, get some drafting action going on, and have a number of people around you to help motivate you and get you through that really tough route. And if you already have the root badge, maybe you want to join in any way to get that nice long weekend ride in. It's certainly going to be a celebration of masochism at the very least. But I think it's a really good opportunity for people to really join in and do this particular route. As of the time of making this video, there's about 800 people signed up already. And between now and next week, I anticipate that's going to at least double, if not triple. And if only half of those people end up showing up, it's still going to be a really large group of individuals, which means for you that regardless of what level you're currently at in terms of your cycling, it's very likely you're going to be able to find some individuals that are of about the same skill or ability that you are to be able to ride with so you're not going this really difficult route alone. But this isn't just like any other group ride, this is also going to be offering up what's known as the double draft. And for those of you who might be newer to Zwift or don't know what the double draft is, this is an alternate mechanism or algorithm in Zwift that actually enhances the draft effect. Now the double draft nomenclature isn't the best because it's not technically doubling the effect, but you can think of it as more of a true to life draft. This is going to be a lot more similar to what you would find on the real road when it comes to riding in a draft. So you will get the absolute opportunity to actually rest and recover between some of those climbing areas, especially before that Alp to Zwift climb at the very end of the route. And there are plenty of flat, fast areas in the Uber pretzel route, and you don't necessarily have to ride it at a swift pace, at least from a power standpoint, to be able to keep up a swift pace from a speed standpoint. So it's going to be offering up a really good opportunity to be able to get the course done quite quickly, uh, comparatively speaking, and not have to burn up all of those matches and really uh, drag out that type of effort. This is going to be more commensurate to what you would find doing a similar course or route in the real world. So I think it's a really good opportunity. They're going to have a Discord server set up. I'm going to link the information down below so that for those of you who aren't in the Eastern time zone, it'll convert to your time zone for you. It'll give you the opportunity to sign up. You can review the course. You can look at where the Discord server links and all the other e details of the ride. I highly recommend checking it out. I intend to join myself as long as there's no unforeseen circumstances in terms of work. And this is going to give you a week to prepare for that type of ride. So you can make sure that you're rested up. I would recommend taking Friday as a really easy or a rest day right beforehand. Be able to make sure you get all your nutrition and drinks set up because you're going to be spending several hours on the bike. Block out that time to make sure that there's no interruptions. And if you don't want to do the whole thing or if you decide on the day that you just can't cut it for the whole ride, that's cool. You can still join in with a really cool group of people for as long as you can hang on and you can duck out whenever you feel is necessary. There is no commitment to finish the whole ride, but I will leave that data down below. I hope you guys check it out. I hope to see some of you guys out there. I think it's going to be a really good opportunity for those of you who don't have the badge to really check that one off the list. So if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them down below. Give a thumbs up for Teddy's birthday. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya.